the first thing you notice or people tend to notice when they come into my studio is uh, the smell um almost every time someone is there they they uh, come into the space and they say oh it smells so good here um and it's mm, because of the materials i use they almost not always but they sometimes have just natural smells i work with straw and with mm, different plant materials and tar and these yeah materials that have a special smell um so you enter into the space and the first thing that hits you i guess is something not um visible mm, i don't remember faces very well but i remember physical rooms very well so then um like i can very clearly see my studio as it is almost in exact detail i can't name the the order the books are in but i know which books are there uh it's a very small studio maybe one of the smallest ones in the school <laughs> but i really yeah i enjoy that i have my own little private space mm, it's um quite messy <laughs> there's a uh, a bookshelf little collections of things i create mess <laughs> uh and little bit of chaos and then i wait for the chaos to maybe say something back uh to me that i pick up on and then i create little constellations or objects or mm, these things from the mess <laughs> um i guess i try to organize it in some way um even though it's still you know chaotic state <laughs> mm. i i like to like play around with these scientific categories because of course i'm i'm not a scientist um so i find it quite fun to maybe like in this <laughs> kind of uh um mm, curiosity cabinet sort of a way like slightly pseudo scientifically um give myself these categories of like plants or animals or trees and then um i sort things into those categories that probably wouldn't be sorted into those categories by anyone else than me <laughs> um well i do tend to collect things always um and maybe name them <laughs> um i have i create different categories uh that always fail <laughs> um or stuff that's not technically in the categories always end up in the categories um Mm. But I I have a little bit of a like a stone library which is um different rocks from different islands that I visit. <laughs> um so little stone islands from different stone islands from Gotland and Fora and also from Drumsa. I have different things on the walls, different works that I'm doing. Uh different little um experiments and uh little mm, little things <laughs> um and i try not to think too much about if the things in my studio are finished works but just kind of this ongoing well mm, ongoing project <laughs> um so i know that some of the things are maybe more finished and some things are maybe even models of works and not even uh works themselves but mm, yeah the first maybe thing that you could call work that you see is um this net on the wall uh which is made up of dandelion stems and uh sewing thread mm, which is it's comprised of different uh, hexagons i'm always kind of surprised and happily surprised by um how studios look from artists that I do enjoy um it's never exactly as you expect them to be to be but then you can so clearly like see the work in the space and the 
person in the space itself. Uh, when I've been able to visit artists in their studios, mm, that's really been great opportunities. And I think you get a little bit of a different side of the work itself and of course of the process um, when you see the, the working space. It's always really fascinating. Mm. And it's not always like the prettiest either and I think that's maybe a an important aspect of it that even though the work might look super refined in the end like um, the space where it comes from can be quite mundane in a way. The studio for some is uh, like an invisible place something that is not meant to show up in the work at all uh, it can be, of course, just a workshop or like a, just a desk or like your bed. I guess the studio as such is a place where something happens. <laughs> uh, but maybe we're not so sure what it is or why it's happening right there. For me, a lot of things happen outside of the studio, but then... I always have to bring it back to the studio somehow, like a like a connection point in the yeah in the life of an artist somehow. If I had this bigger studio, I would be able to have more books, like a like a big library, um, and then maybe I could work in the middle <laughs> uh, and be able to like lay down on the floor, maybe dance, have some music on, yeah.